Yeah, I totally agree. I feel so blessed and lucky to have been able to create what is effectively a super man cave, kind of like a bat cave, from what was just a steel framed building within this site that I bought, which I converted into my home, which at one stage we were actually fighting with the planners to take down, believe it or not. We were gonna take it down um, and we wanted to put just a standard cart shed, like a four uh, garage cart shed there. But they wanted us to take it down because it had no historical significance and didn't do anything to enhance this barn and the grade one church that we live next door to. So they're happy for us to take it down, but they still want a modern cart shed put up next to it. So we were like, all right, fuck yeah, we'll convert what's there and we'll put in planning permission and there's not really a lot you can do because you've already told us it doesn't bring anything to enhance the area. So what we do is gonna enhance the area. So you're gonna have to give us the planning permission. Um, so it was kind of two fingers up to the planners um, as a first priority, but the ripple effect was like got planning permission for a fucking massive man cave and it is huge. I, I, it's 1500 square foot, plus we've got a mezzanine level for effectively half that space again. And you know, I, I've been doing the work in between projects with my own guys. That's why it's taken so long because it's not a money producer. It's a, only a money liability. It only costs me money. And it just doesn't make sense to pull my guys off for a year to do that project for me when we have so many other deals on the go. So within two or three weeks of pro in between projects, they've been jumping on that and doing the work. And I'm really, really happy with it. But what happens is when you're doing a project over a massive period of time, you do change your mind. And obviously I play a lot of basketball. Those of you who follow me know it's one of my ma biggest passions. And if I had a regret in my life, I don't tend to regret anything. It's that I'd never became a professional basketball player, which those of you who know me will be laughing. But um, because I got so into it over lockdown, I'm back into it and I'm playing now more than I did back when I was like 18, 19. Um, I kind of wish I didn't put the mezzanine level in and I just turned it into a indoor full court basketball um, because that was, I thought that would have been like really, really cool. The other idea I had after I built my outdoor pool was to put an indoor pool in there. That actually would have been a great use for the space. But we are where we are. 10 grand's worth of steel has gone in. So I need to sort of make um, the space work. And I've got this mezzanine level up there, which I think is gonna be a great games room. But I also, uh, I'm gonna put a board, ta board, board um, room meeting table thing up there so I can have meetings there instead of hiring places out when I need to get, you know, groups of people around a table. Great for bigger projects when you need like architects, engineers and planners and all these other things all around one table. So I think that space is gonna work really well. But downstairs, yeah, I think great place to ha house cars. I'm gonna have a small ring in there for some shooting practice. But the bar area, I think is gonna be, for me, the, 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 the centerpiece of that whole barn. So to, to make that bar something really special, I think is gonna be key. And, and do you know what? I love the idea of just making a concrete slab, which we can, we can do easily. And even something very rustic, you know, with some metal sort of protruding from it, I think would be a great idea. I actually love this idea. And have you seen how they make those big concrete blocks where they then block them up and um, uh, block sites off so people can't get on and off? And they make them out of these massive sort of um, pre-built metal molds sort of thing. That maybe we could do something like that, I don't know. But I love this idea. I really appreciate your comment because that's given me, I think, a, a good idea to run with. So I'll keep you updated um, as and when we try and do something with that.